Hello, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you Easy Stringer's constant tension pull. Now, this is very important when stringing a, a, a racket, a tennis racket, badminton racket of any type, because without constant tension pull, you will lose tension really quickly when you string and after you play with it. Uh, examples of constant tension pull machines are pretty much all drop weight machines. Uh, Specialized uh, spring driven machines such as the Easy Stringer uh, pistol tension head and perhaps the and of course the Stringway MS200 or MS140 are very good examples of constant tension pull machines. Okay, now machines that are not constant tension pull um, are, are called lockout machines. Now, lockout machines such as, you know, the manual crank machines, my stringer off the top of my head. They're not constant tension pull, which means they lose tension very quickly when you string. If you set the tension, say 45 pounds, you pull it to 45 pounds, the te tension mechanism will lock, which means it will stop pulling. So any slack that you get when you string will not be taken up they will just continue to, to slack and that's the difference so here I'm going to show you why where does slack come from well one big a source of slack is you, if you can see the distance between the distance between the clamp and the frame is stringed with with a hundred percent tension loss when you string so if you can see here, if I can show you here, see the distance between the clamp and the frame right here. So if I take the string and I string it through the next one and I pull, this is all, this, these few millimeters of string is 100% not tension. So there's a lot of slack in that. And you definitely need a constant tension pull machine to pick up the slack and you also have to keep in mind that many or most electronic machines are not true constant tension pool because it's they work kind of on a principle of a lockout machine we'll say they'll pull in <coughs> <coughs> they'll pull the string into the set tension at 45 pounds and when it reaches 45 pounds then it will lock up However, with electronic machines, oftentimes, if, it's, if it detects that there's slack, then the motor will turn, turn on again and it will pull the string again until it's 45. So it's always pulling and stopping, pulling and stopping. So it's kind of like constant tension pull, but it's not true constant tension pull. And there, that's, there's a difference there. So, so you're going to have to keep that in mind. Easy Stringer is true constant tension pull it is always pulling and I'm going to demonstrate this um, like this now I don't recommend you string like this I only doing this for pure demonstration purposes but as you can see none of the string is tensioned and I'm going to thread string here and I'm going to pull this string with easy stringer. I'm going to pull it at 45 pounds. Oh, and, and another side note is that if you notice whenever you string a six point uh, side support stringing machine, especially when you pull the string towards in, in this, this area, the racket will deform a lot. And another, another good thing about easy stringer is that the tension head it, it doubles as, as like a, a frame support so you're gonna you're not gonna really see any so any frame distortion as you see with some other stringing machines so just bear that in mind but I'm gonna pull this the string at about 45 pounds
okay? So that means this string is 45 pounds, but these strings are not. This, these strings are still very loose. There's a lot of slack here. And if you see a lot of my videos, you often see me kind of like, like pressing against the mains, you know, to get the slack towards the outside where the string is being pulled. So if you watch, oh, here, I can show you right here. Um, easy stringer. Here we go. As you can see, you know, it's right, it's right at 45 pounds, 45 pounds. Now, and I'm going to press the, the mains. And I'm going to get the slack towards the tension head. And here we go. If you watch, I press here, I get a lot of the slack towards the outside. And now if you can see here, I can show you here. Now it's dropped about 35, 36 pounds. So, so all of a sudden, that's about nine pounds of slack that I just moved into towards the tension head. Now because this is constant tension pull, it's always pulling, but because there's slack here, you can see the tension has really decreased. So obviously if you want to set it at 45 pounds, you want to pull it 45 pounds, you're going to have to just increase the tension again, which is really easy. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is just uh, pull a little bit more. Now this is something that a, a lockout machine will not be able to do. It will not, if there is nine pounds of slack, your only option is to re-pull the string again. Whereas you see here, I pumped it up, now it's at 45 again. But if you look here, again, there's still more slack. So if I kind of move the strings, get the slack out to the outside, to the tension head. And again, I'm moving the tension more towards the outside to the tension head. And here we go. We can take a look here. Okay, and now it's about 40 pounds. So again, another five pounds of slack, which you can easily take up by just giving another pump or two. Here we go. So now it's up to 45 again. So what you can do is if you're still slack, you can just press it here, get the slack to the outside. The outside. And here we go. We can see how much slack there is. Again, it's, it's lost another pound or two. Maybe we can get a little bit more here. And here we go. Again, it's lost a few pounds here. So you just pick it up, pump it up again. Give it a few more pumps. And now it's a little bit more than 45. But that's okay. There's probably still more slack, so. There's still more slack. So we can continue doing this process. Again, we can move more. Move more slack to the outside, to the tension head, where the tension can pick it up.
And here we go. If you take a look here, see how much the tension has dropped again. Now it's down to about 30, 37 or so, about 37. So because this is constant tension pull, you just give it a few pumps. And now you're back at 45, maybe a little bit more. So no matter how much slack you have here, because this is constant tension pull, you can just keep moving the slack to the outside. And you can get a really tight, stiff string tension bed with very little effort. And you can be assured that when you string your racket, you're not going to lose a whole lot of tension and stiffness. And this also translates into the, the, the lifespan of your string job, where when you play, the tension is not going to drop nearly as quickly as if it was strung with a manual crank lockout type of machine. And if you also notice during this entire video, the frame really hasn't warped especially in this area if you look it's really pulling at, at an angle where most other machines with poor support systems such as six point side supports you're going to see a lot of frame warping in this area where you don't really see much over here so that's our two really uh, important uh, good sales points about the easy stringer